Hey guys, uh, Mary Jam, February 27th at 5 a.m. I can't believe I'm still awake, but I just did two shorts because uh, my phone's slowly dying talking about why I'm back <laughs> to daily vlogging. I knew I inspired people, I just didn't know how much I inspired people, and that message just really, really touched me. So, like, okay, I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> as long as my phone lets me be back to record, then I'm back. So, um, yeah, I'm just very grateful that I got that message. And again, uh, she is from California, 54. I can't see her name, but she, uh, had to put down her pets, and she she also got the bad remarks that I did from friends and family, so she didn't feel so alone, and she did the beads and the collages that I do, so I'm very glad that I could inspire people to uh, not feel so bad when people tell you, oh, you shouldn't be talking about how sad you are and about death, and get over it and blah 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 because life doesn't happen like that like i said i'm still not over my brothers <laughs> i'm still not over my first cat and the best way to deal with it is to talk about it so i think some of my videos are age restricted because of what i've said <laughs> so i have to be careful what i say now on face on youtube but um yeah basically like i said if uh At least I'm handling things the way that I am, rather than the opposite. And uh, I'm glad that I could be supporting other people like they have for me. So again, if you guys didn't watch my short, I made two projects. So I don't know if you can see it, but <laughs> I kind of drew... Oh yeah, now you can see it. I drew my cat's rip on there, and then I drew the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. <laughs> and then I tried doing the names... But it wouldn't show up because like this one's kind of blurry unless if I put the light to it, which is why the selfie light is like right by it so you guys could see it. But yeah, I drew that. <laughs> so then once again, I said Nino, Phantom, Junior, Hope, Josephine, Mark, Speckles, not beside me, but always in my heart. No more suffering beyond the Rainbow Bridge. <laughs> so I'm going to hang that up. I think it's really cute. It's too bad it doesn't really show up, so I gotta figure something out. Maybe I'll use, like, a painting. Maybe I gotta use paint for that. <laughs> like a lighter color, but I don't have a paintbrush. I just have the roller. I can't find my paintbrush, so... That's good for now, and it kind of looks like a collar, in my opinion, this thing here. But yeah, I think that's cute. What do you guys think? Meow. <laughs> And then, I made the big one, which I have to take a better photo of. Ooh, it's big. I can't even fit it in. <laughs> so I put lamb chops down below, and it's on. And then I put the XXO toy, and the flowers, and the collars. I taped it so they could stay on. Because I remember how I was crying about the collars. <laughs> So now, I have that to remember me, remember that I've had them since they were kittens, and then I have photos of me, Josephine, Hope, uh, Junior, I also got my scrapbook here, <coughs> so I took some of the photos out of here, <laughs> so I could have Phantom, the mom, that I did, and there's a photo of the me and the mom, and when they were kittens that I got from the scrapbook. And then I said, Here, uh, my heart will go on <laughs> from Titanic. And here I said, Never give up hope. <clears throat> oh, yeah, never give up hope. And you know, Phantom Jr., Hope, Josephine, Mark, and Speckles. So again, Mark is the one that was still born, so I don't have any photos of him, but I still include him. So that's all the photos, and then I did the glitter thing. So I have to do a better photo of uh, me, but I like how I have lamb chops there. <laughs> lamb chops! So yeah, if you guys have cat toys, you could put them down below just to use like lots of tape, and then like the collars for like sentimental value. 
Like I said, I don't have the ashes, but something like collars is, isn't too heartbreaking. The ashes is kind of like, you know, that it's that. So for me, the collars are kind of sentimental that way. And then it's easy to put on a collage. <laughs> so these are all the photos. Yeah, later I'll uh, put my phone that way to get a better photo. But it took me probably an hour to finish. Because I had to find the scrapbook. <laughs> That's why I haven't done any videos lately. And then the shorts. So that's that one there. So yeah, later I'll do a photo going sideways so you can see it. <clears throat> but uh, here we go. Change it that way. <laughs> Might have to change your phone. That's it sideways. And then, what else did I do tonight? I'll keep going until my phone's pretty much dead. Everything's in the hallway. Oh, I hope I don't get in trouble now for saying that word. <laughs> I think that's why my age restricted. So I took everything out on this side of the kitchen and brought it over there. My computer is still down there. And then when it dries, then I'll just bring everything back over here. <clears throat> and then I made my miso soup. My five minute miso soup that I always make. And I was also going to show you guys the eggplant dish that I made the other day. So, miso soup. I already had like three bubbles. <laughs> Which is in here. So, it's so easy to do. All it is is just soft tofu that you cook. First, you gotta boil the water, and then you put the soft tofu in there. Green onions, the seaweed, and one tablespoon of miso that you dissolve in it, and then there you go, you got your miso soup, you don't need extra powder. <laughs> so this is my favorite, this is why I go through so much tofu. Oops. Okay, oh no, let's get see. I gotta save some, so I can't have all of it. <laughs> There we go. And this soup is good for you. Mm. So good. I'm probably not even going to eat because I already had two bowls. <laughs> and it's freaking cold outside. I think it's going to snow, but it's not the same now. because the onions are in the way, but there's eggplant. It's one of my favorite dishes. I know I eat a lot of fried stuff. <laughs> I also <clears throat> got a message from somebody telling me I'm the reason they want, they want to go vegan, so that's good. So yeah, any comments you guys have, feel free to like, leave. I'm not always going to say every single comment, but it is very, uh, touching. <laughs> so this is an eggplant dish. 
And I also cut out the stuff for the sushi, but I didn't make it because I was doing the floors. Yeah. Yeah, this is the stuff for the sushi. Let's see. Yeah, so the avocado. I cut it. Try not to eat all of it. <laughs> and this is the cucumbers. So it's going to be so easy to like make sushi next time I'm awake. So no matter how depressed you are, you still gotta cook, still gotta clean, even though I've been even though I haven't been doing videos, that's literally what I've been doing is cooking and cleaning like I always do and sleeping. <laughs> and then I have uh oh and I made the veggie broth. So I made it from scratch, which I've shown tons of times on my channel. Uh, veggie broth with the Instant Pot. So I made three of these. So now I could have... So my soups are like kind of not that great because there's not that much veggie broth. So I was like, oh, I've got to make more veggie broth. So I did that. And another comment I got was, uh, somebody was saying that because I showed them what I've done all day, it kind of gives them the push to, uh, clean and do stuff. So I'm like, wow, that's pretty surprising. <laughs> Which I kind of get, though, because, like I said, there's people that I watch constantly, like, uh, that's one reason why I started watching, like, the Cindy again, was because before I used to see her every single day, and then when she was with that guy, I stopped watching her, but now she's back for doing chores and stuff like that again, so it's like, finally, <laughs> so I need somebody I could watch to clean, because just like you guys, I look towards somebody to, uh, clean and watch every day, and, uh, so yeah, I'm glad she's back. And then, like I said, I watch Anne Boleyn a lot, and even though her videos don't make any sense. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I like watching her, and I like watching, like, um, Chelsea. Of course, Chelsea's my favorite. Chelsea Calhoun. And I still like watching, uh, the Japanese guy. I forget his name. I don't really have a crush on him anymore, or Ryan, or any of those guys. Like, I think they're cute, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> Like I said, they never bother messaging me back, not even on Instagram, so it's like, and then like Glenn from Two Shadows, we used to hang out, and it's like, he didn't even bother responding, so it's like, yeah, I get that you guys are busy, but the way to uh, keep the fan base going is that you gotta respond to your messages, because people are gonna feel ignored. That's why I always check my messages and I always respond, because I don't know what it's like to uh, feel ignored, so... Yeah, I never ignore anyone, even when I'm depressed, and if I'm not interested in somebody, then I tell them that I'm not interested in somebody, but I don't ignore them. So it's like... <laughs> yeah. All that promoting that I did for them and all that, for what, nothing, so... It's kind of nice not liking anybody, truth be told. <laughs> so, I'm like, I already got enough stuff going on. I don't need to feel like I'm special by somebody else because I already could make myself feel that way. Like I said, I took my. I spoiled myself on Valentine's Day. Uh, I like to cook and clean, and if I ever start dating, then, like, that person's going to take my time away from what I like doing most, which is cooking and cleaning. <laughs> so, that's why I hate going out, because when I go out, I come home and I'm so tired, I'm like, man, I have so much cooking and cleaning to do, because I actually enjoy to cook the most. Cleaning, not so much, but the cooking, yeah. 
Still so much there. I got to cook the broccoli. I did one eggplant dish today. I saw another eggplant dish to do. So today I'm going to focus on two foodie takes plate dishes. Today I did foodie 888. I did a lot of the same dishes because I'm craving them. <laughs> like the miso soup. I'm like, oh, I want miso soup. I want miso soup. Because I wanted sushi. But I'm too tired to make sushi. <laughs> So instead, I mean, this is soup, and I've now I've already ate, so <clears throat> I'm pretty much going to be going to bed after these videos are uploaded because my phone's dying too, so. But, uh, that's what I've been working on. There we go. And I got a whole thing of soup. But, uh, miso, miso soup. Although, the thing that's kind of cool, I didn't know that they had this thing called, uh, what is it called now? Miso something. It's for, it's a small tool that you take out of the miso, to take the miso out, and then you put in the soup to, uh, stir it. It dissolves thing, but I'm like, I just put it, I just use a tablespoon. And then I use a chopstick to go like that, and the soup does the same thing, so. It's like, do I really need it? Probably not. It's like the avocado tool that I bought, I never use it. <laughs> so I'm trying to sell it. At the beginning I used it, but now I'm like, I eat avocado so much, so I don't really need an avocado tool. And it really didn't do much. But yeah, I'm starting to get tired, but it's 5.18 a.m., so the only reason why I've been up all night is because I literally woke up around 9, and I tried sleeping. So I'm probably going to go back to bed. Like, usually I eat before I go to sleep, but like I said, I'm not tired, I'm not hungry, so I already had the bowls. <laughs> so that's good. But yeah, I just have so much cooking to do today, so <clears throat> probably when I wake up, because I know a few people have requested me to record when I cook again, I'm going to do that if my phone's working, <laughs> record when I cook. Um, uh, after I have my few smokes and stuff, and coffee. <sighs> but, yeah, it's just funny how sometimes, like, I know that I'm important to a lot of people, but also at the same time, like, to strangers that I didn't, like, they're not even subscribed to my channel, because they don't know how to, <laughs> so I told them how to do it, but I don't know if they'll do it. But I'm like, that's okay, as long as you watch, that's all that really matters, so. <clears throat> but, like, they're in their 50s, so. <laughs> Can't expect too much. But I was like, wow. That's pretty cool, though. And then, but I always get those comments, like, from my friends that I have to show you Redefine Life, and Andre, and Irene, and Cece Taylor, and... Can't forget everybody's name. Um, they usually comment all the time, and then, I know, like, Lisa Jones is in six, so I don't think, I don't know if she knows about what's been going on, so I know I should send an email soon. So yeah, if you guys send me your email, I, or email me, I will email back, so that's the other thing too. Redefine Life is another person that, like, comments, and <clears throat> keeps an eye on the thing as, as so below. I think it's pronounced. Um, also, like, there's so many people that constantly do it, so... I do apologize if I don't see your name in some comments I just saw today, because as a, I use a YouTube studio, and I don't get that on my phone. <laughs> there's a lot of, uh, what do you call it? Messages, or comments that I got, I was like, oh, wow, I haven't even seen these comments. So I have to go on them more often, I guess. But <clears throat> I think it's kind of funny how YouTube works. 
then like, I don't know, it says that the video that I said where I'm back is on my channel, but then when I go on my channel, I don't see it, so I don't know if it's there or not. <laughs> so, yeah. It's kind of weird how YouTube works, or sometimes like it's an hour later after you posted it to actually show up, and I'm like, what? <laughs> so yeah, I am on Facebook though, I'm under Mary Martin, sorry, Mary, because there's so many Mary Martins, that's why I'm Mary Joseph Mer Merkin, because there's so many Mary Martins that I have to put my Asian name in there. <laughs> So it's like, wow. Although, mind you, Mary Martin is Peter Pan, the first female Peter Pan, so that's pretty cool. So, uh, whenever I go, uh, cause people are like, oh, you should quit smoking. I'm like, I'm not a saint. <laughs> that's what I'm named after with Mary, Mother Mary. <clears throat> that's why I go, I'm not a saint. <laughs> I'm not a saint, but like I said, there's people are always going to say bad things regardless. Like people talk about my diet, people talk about my lifestyle, people talk about how I stay at home all the time and how I should do stuff, and I'm like, this is what I do though. I don't want to go. <laughs> Although I might go to No Frills later tonight, you know that I got some more money from a family member, but, uh, we'll see if I end up going or not. <sighs> That's the other thing, too, that people are, like, commenting about how much oil I use. I'm like, well, when you deep fry food, you need a lot of oil. <laughs> <clears throat> That's why I use oil, and avocado oil is freaking expensive. I have coconut oil, but... Really, I don't think you can be fried with coconut oil. It's not a lot though. But coconut oil is expensive. Like, <clears throat> I think coconut oil is more than avocado oil. I haven't checked recently. But this. So this thing here costs 15 bucks. Freaking expensive. Just for this. So I try not to use it that often. I only use it for baking. And usually when I use a, a what do you call it? Vegan Twix bars or like vegan chocolate stuff. But yeah, you don't get that much. And it's like, it's expensive. 15 bucks up. And the big ones for like twenty five to thirty dollars, even at no frills, it's so freaking expensive. I'm like, uh, I could get a small thing of oil for five bucks, or I buy a thing of coconut oil for fifteen dollars, or I buy avocado oil that's like over twenty thirty dollars. I'm like, <clears throat> sure, I have oil, but I can't afford anything to cook with it. So, <laughs> what am I gonna use? Oil. Cause it's only five bucks. There we go. I got an empty container here. So this size is five dollars. <throat> and this is fifteen to twenty dollars and the avocado oil is like twenty to thirty dollars. So which one am I gonna buy? This one, obviously. And this one does not last. I'm already out of it. <laughs> So, like I said, yeah, I eat a lot of deep fried stuff, but, like I said, at least it's not, I'm eating junk food all the time, like I used to eat chips all the time, and I haven't had chips in like, two weeks. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I go, no matter what you say, <clears throat> to people or like on social media either way you're gonna get criticized and it's just a part of the way that life is and you could choose to listen to it or you could choose to be like me and hide them from your channel because you're 
don't want to waste your time <laughs> arguing with somebody. Like, it's different when, uh, cause that, when the person was telling me, oh, uh, I challenge you to not think or talk about the D word, and I'm like, <clears throat> well, if I do that, then I'm gonna go crazy, because I've already done that, and that's how I went crazy. <clears throat> that's how I, uh, changed my lifestyle around, was because I was talking about it, so I'm like, but, like, <clears throat> if you if you want to give criticism, you gotta give something. You gotta be like, hey, I think it's cool what you're doing, but could I suggest this in a nice way? Not be like, hey, you know what? You do this wrong. You do this wrong. You do that wrong. I'm like, I just put my cat down. I just did that on Thursday. So like, the fact that I'm still here, the fact that I'm still out of bed and doing stuff. I mean, if shouldn't that count for something? Yeah, but if you dwell on it, well, if you dwell on it, <clears throat> dwelling on stuff means that's all that you're doing and you're not telling anybody about it. If you hold it in, that's dwelling, in my opinion. <clears throat> so, <laughs> and, yeah, it's just like, there's criticism, and then there's just people being jerks. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, that's why I keep telling people, you guys gotta be careful about what you say, because now I don't take that anymore. Uh, like I said, I don't care about the views. I do YouTube for fun. I do it to inspire people, and it's not to make money, and not to let people say bad stuff about me, because, like, if I wanted that, I'd hang out with people that are bad in my life, which I don't anymore, so. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe my phone's still actually working. So I'm gonna, uh, get ready, but I love this next to this here. And we're gonna not sign me that forever in my heart. And this I buy off, which, like, two, three bucks, I think it was. So, yeah, I'll do a photo, though, of, uh, the frame sideways, but <clears throat> I really like it, and, like I said, this is how I deal with stuff that I can't control, and this is why I love cooking, because I can actually control cooking. I control what goes in there, I control that it doesn't burn, I control. <laughs> I like being in control. <laughs> <clears throat> Which is why I was a stage manager back in the day when I did theater. That's why I was a radio host, because I was in charge. <laughs> so, just like my channel. It's my channel. I can do what I want, say what I want, to an extent. Because <laughs> otherwise YouTube blocks you, which sucks. I don't know if this will get age restricted, probably, but... <clears throat> yeah. I just find it funny that people are allowed to say the M-word and not get uh, reported or like we're allowed to say that on my channel yet when I say it then I get in trouble for saying that word. It's like, um, hello? <laughs> Why am I the only one getting in trouble for saying that when people are say when I'm saying what people are saying? <laughs> so yeah. YouTube is weird. I still love YouTube, though. So, yeah, once again, Daily Vlogger, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, as long as my phone will let me. And, like I said, it's now 5.30, so I'm not going to watch TV. I'm just going to uh, have a smoke, upload this video, and go straight to bed, because I am so tired now. So, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Um, like I said, I'll be doing videos of me cooking again with the music on since people requested it. So, back to that again. Because <laughs> that's pretty much what I do. Part of it. So, like, comment, subscribe, uh, and I will talk to you guys next time I'm awake here on Phantom Stories. Living on my own with conditions, trying to get over loss and starting over your own phantom stories. Thanks for watching.